Hi, this is Ms. TechFi, and in this video we'll be going over extended batteries for the LG Optimus V. I found some extended batteries for sale on eBay. There was a 3900, a 3600, and a 2800 to choose from. The one that I went with was a 3600 battery, and the reason why I chose this one was because the price was right. It was $1697, and it was being sold by a U.S. seller because I didn't want to wait for overseas shipment. It's choosing a replacement battery. Make sure that it says that it has an integrated microchip to prevent overcharging. And if you're purchasing the extended battery, make sure that it has the larger battery cover. This on the left is the original for the LG Optimus V, and the one on the right is the extended battery cover. Now, I thought when I first took a look at these that it would possibly have an issue with the camera causing some shading, but looking at the pictures side by side, I took pictures with the original cover and pictures with the extended, and I didn't have any issues at all with the pictures. When you first get this kind of battery, you want to make sure that you keep it on the charger for 12 hours. Even if the phone says that it's fully charged, go ahead and continue to keep it charging. If your phone is rooted after you discharge the battery a few times, you can calibrate it. I did fully discharge this battery several times before doing this video, and I have calibrated this battery. Before we begin, I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side of these batteries. LG Optimus V OEM is on the left, and the replacement extended battery is on the right. First I'm going to show you the LG Optimus V's OEM battery in the phone. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the extended battery looks like in the phone. Make sure that you get the tip it up and get the notches in because there's two notches there and then let the back drop in. The only issue that I had with this battery is in taking the battery cover back off. You want to make sure that you're ready for that battery to come out because uh, it has a tendency, it's so heavy that it will flop out. So let's go ahead and put the back cover on. Okay, so it is on. And I'm just going to move it around. You know, it's staying on. I'm not going to drop test it. So here's the cover on. The extended cover. So it does add some thickness but it's it's not that bad. And let's see if it'll do it for me in popping it off. You see there you got to be ready for it to come out. So Take it off that way with the back cover down and just let the battery fall in if you need to. But other than that, it stays powered on. It's just, it's top heavy. Alright, let's power this phone on. I would have had this video up sooner, but this battery takes forever to discharge. The first time that I discharged the battery, it took 44 hours for it to finally go red. And that was with medium to heavy usage, uh, apps, games, the live wallpaper was running, the screen brightness was up. see here. I'm not going to turn it too bright because then the camera makes it overexposed. This phone also gets used as a digital alarm clock. 
the person who uses this phone. I definitely do not use all the phones that I have listed up for videos. That would be insane. So this alarm clock is by iHandySoft Inc. and it is called Alarm Clock. So the battery percentage is at 100%. I actually just unplugged my other video that I showed the Motorola Triumph. I did lots of things to try to drain the battery. I'm not going to do that with this one. That would take forever. I'm not going to do a 44 hour test on this and videotape the whole thing. So what I am going to do is I have the Wi-Fi on, the Bluetooth, the GPS. I have syncing so we have data going in the background. I do have the screen brightness up and we're going to go ahead and go on to Netflix and I'm going to run a movie and when it's done we'll be back and see what the battery percentage is so prior to prior to all this the battery was completely at 100 percent just unplugged the Wi-Fi the Bluetooth the GPS the sync background data and screen brightness is up and I am going to pick a random longer non-documentary movie so this one here is two hours and twelve minutes I'm gonna leave this movie running and it is connected to the Bluetooth and we'll be back when it's done okay we're coming to the end of the video that was playing for over two hours hurry two seconds so we finished the video and it was two hours and twelve minutes long during that time the Wi-Fi is on the Bluetooth is on GPS the sync and the screen brightness is up and our battery percentage is at 79 percent so two hours and 12 minutes on Netflix with all these things on and you've used 21 percent of the battery so in conclusion if you need a battery that will last you all day with medium to heavy usage without any worries you might consider this battery be mindful that the thickness will increase on the phone so I'm going to show you the back of the phone this will give you an idea of how much more thickness it will be so I'm aligning the backs of the phones it's going to be about a little over a quarter inch and I did not find an issue with the pictures